Hey guys, this is a short introduction to the new Connect tab that we're going to have in GmyRig. Um, it's going to allow you to do some very basic motion capture, but uh, for a $99 device, it's pretty cool. So we're going to start by loading, loading a model, and we're going to use our Cobra rig, and we're going to have to tell it to uh, rig it as a character. Once that's done, we'll make some quick adjustment to the actors. We'll just um, get the shoulders up a little bit and adjust the weight maps, just because it's a, it's a more rigid object versus uh, organic forms. We'll adjust the lighting a little bit just to make it a little bit prettier for this video. And all you have to do then is uh, click the connect button to get the skeleton automatically mapped onto the character. We'll adjust the uh, floor height a little bit by just dragging the character up. And you can now actually position him, you know, however you want. You could actually rotate him uh, so that, you know, he doesn't have to face always towards the camera. Um, and then you'll see how simple it basically was. There is no real other adjustments needed. We added a few options for the uh, foot slide, you know, ground collisions, things like that that we're going to explain later. But other than that, what you can actually do is some very quick and simple motion capture that uh, is actually for a $999 device pretty usable. Um, so that's basically what you're seeing here. Uh, we can record, of, we can of course record these takes and uh, so I'm going to do a quick record of, of some motion. And uh, once you've finished recording, um, all you have to do is uh, click the stop button. And what it basically does so far, it, it just has buffered the motion in memory. We'll disconnect from the connect and now when we move the time slider you'll actually see the motion. Um, what you want to do with that though, you know, right now it's just in the buffer, but what you actually want to do is you want to bake it. So we can just type in a clip name, um, you know, it can be anything really. Um, and then just uh, bake the clip. It'll run through the animation. And then you can drop it onto the timeline. You can now adjust the ins and outs. You can slide it on the overall animation uh, portion. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to actually load a second character. Uh, we'll choose the same one for just for the simplicity's use. Um, we'll move them around a little bit, and again, we have to tell it to, to rig it. Um, and again, click on the Connect tab just to make it live, and you'll immediately see him you know, jump into the position. We'll uh, move the characters around a little bit just so we can see them again, raise them from the ground floor. And you can now see as I drag the slider, you know, the left character will actually be the recorded motion, but the right character will now be, again, the live uh, motion. We'll uh, smooth it a little bit. Uh, those are all sliders that we're going to get into, and, and there's probably going to be some additions there that we're going to add and, and explain. Um, but the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to record a second take. And, you know, depending on what you're doing, you, you don't actually have to really match them you know, the match to the motion of the left character to the right character, because uh, once you have stopped recording, and uh, you know, you you'll you'll see we'll we'll bake it again. We have to disconnect from the uh, connect. Um, we'll we'll bake that again. <coughs> Give it a different name, just just so that it's easier to to uh, figure out later on what you did. Uh, bake it, drop it back onto the timeline, and then we can adjust. You know, like I'm I'm going to move around just a little bit to to see like when he raises up his arm so that you just literally drag the time slider uh, so that you can sort of align the clips like you were in an editing application. So it's actually pretty easy to, you know, if, if, if people were doing something where they're boxing each other to just sort of, you know, match the motions up. And, you know, you can go back to a, to a live again and you can record other takes, you know, uh, you can reload other objects, but that's basically it. So have fun using it.